This tutorial will demonstrate how to search Ovid Medline for systematic reviews and meta-analyses. To start, click on the Ovid link on the library's homepage, library.tulsa.ou.edu. Click the Ovid Medline link. At this point, you may be prompted to log in using your OUHSC credentials. For our systematic review search, we will use the following question. Other than a few pounds, drinking six or eight Mountain Dews a day isn't a problem, right? One of the challenges of a search like this is that there could be several ways to describe a key concept. Mountain Dew is something you drink with certain ingredients and properties. The problem you face is deciding which term or combination of terms to use. There are multiple ways to perform this search and get a good answer. Let's try one. First, we begin by asking what the questioner is really asking. They are under the impression that there are no risks, apart from weight gain, from drinking large amounts of a sugary beverage. If you can find articles that show that drinking sugar-sweetened beverages is bad for people, then you will have an answer to that question. Since you don't know what the MeSH terms that match our search topics are yet, we'll use the Map Term to Subject Heading feature to help us. Make sure that the box is checked. Enter the term Sugar Sweetened Beverage into the search box. The first page that we are taken to is a list of possible medical subject headings that were mapped to our search term. Several search subject headings look promising, so let's consider a few. Beverages could be a good term to try because Mountain Dew is a beverage. Other terms like obesity, dietary sucrose, sweetening agents, and overweight also show promise. In this search, we're not going to consider obesity or overweight because we are trying to keep things simple for this exercise. In a real world situation, however, you may want to use these terms as part of your search. However, dietary sucrose and sweetening agents are definitely good candidates. Click the scope note for sweetening agents. You'll see that this term includes artificial sweeteners and sugar substitutes. Since Using this term in our search would bring up results that are not relevant to our question. We'll put that aside for now. That leaves dietary sucrose, which is definitely a term we want to use. However, we're also going to put that aside for the moment while we concentrate on the first term we saw, beverages. Select that term by checking the box next to it. We also want to explode our term in order to pick up any subject headings that fall under the category of terms that we have chosen. Click the explode box next to our chosen term. Then click continue. We will select the adverse effects subheading because that's what we are most interested in about beverages. Click the box next to adverse effects. Then hit the continue button. We now have a set of almost 80,000 results. Let's go to the next part of our search. Type dietary sucrose into the search box. Make sure the box is checked next to dietary sucrose. Then check the box for explode and hit continue. We'll include all subheadings this time, so hit continue. Our next step is to combine the two searches that we have completed so that we retrieve results that pertain to both topics. Click the checkboxes next to our two searches, and then click the AND button next to Combine With. For our search, we know that we are looking for a specific type of publication, a systematic review or meta-analysis. To limit results to a certain type of publication, Scroll down to the blue box located underneath the search box and click the Additional Limits button. We now have a list of all the limits available in this database. 
scroll down to the Publication Types section, located on the right. You can select multiple publication types using the Control key on PCs or the Command key on Macs. Select both Meta-Analysis and Systematic Reviews. Once selected, scroll back up and click the Limit a Search button located above the Search History area. You should now have a small set of results, several of which apply to the question. If you still have a large number of results after limiting the publication type, you can always add in new subject headings using the AND command. You can also limit your results by English language and publication year. To learn about searching for other types of studies, check out more of the library's evidence-based tutorials. Happy searching!